So you're looking at a fixer up on Craigslist for only a few hundred dollars, and you're wondering if it'd be a great little project. Problem is, is you don't know anything about boats. Well, this video is for you. To start off with, when I'm looking at a, a new, a new to me boat potentially, I always, one of the first things I always look at is underneath, right here. You see how there's a, a nice scrape right there, all along here. When you beach a boat or you run it aground or things like that, that part, the very front of the boat uh, down there is where it usually hits. And so if that's broken or messed up or cracked or anything, that could be a really, really big expensive repair. I also look at um, the chine. The chine the chine is this part right here. And um, as it runs back, you'll see there, I look for scrapes, scratches, all that on the hull. So now let's have a look at the interior. <laughs> You can see very clearly this interior is completely trashed. But what we have to determine is, do we just need to replace the seats and the everything else is fine, or has all this destruction has all this destruction gone all the way down to the uh, to the wood and rotted out the wood and the stringers and such? So here's a couple of things to look for. If the boat's in this bad a condition and you're going to be walking around in it, you might go through a floor, so be very careful where you step. Once you get in the deck, walk around every square inch of this deck. If you feel any soft spots, that usually means that it's rotted out. Walk all the way around, and here, I've already done it. <laughs> sorry, about the, sorry about this angle here, but here I done it. I walked, I stepped on this here, and it went straight down floor. This wood down here is so rotten that it doesn't even hold the, um, the cover up anymore. It just completely rotted out. These seats, you can just buy them. So if they're trashed, it's not a big deal. It's going to cost you a few hundred dollars to replace them, but they're, it's an easy fix. You just unbolt them and put new seats in. You might think, oh my god, this is falling off. This is big. This is just a board. Realistically, I could have this recovered and redone in a day. This, is, this right here is not a big fix. That there, that is a big fix. So let's look at another telltale, and that's going to be your transom. To get to your transom, usually you have to pull the motor cover off. Don't be afraid to dig into the boat. I mean, now, this engine's pretty dirty, but a dirty engine, as far as dirt, isn't necessarily a bad thing. But what you're going to have to do is somehow look, look behind the engine. Oh, well. All right, well, not the most pleasant, but let me, let me show you exactly what I'm looking at on the transom here. Just like you, you walked around the decks to make sure there's no soft spots, you want to make sure there's no soft spots in the transom. And what you want to do is, what I do is I take a, a screwdriver and I just kind of lightly poke. Lightly poking doesn't, um, it doesn't put any spots or it doesn't go through or anything like that. You're probably solid. But if you give it a jab and it goes in, that's a big problem. You've probably got a rotten transom. So this Bayliner here needs a complete restoration. Whether it's worth it or not, well, Bayliners in general are not worth a whole lot of money. Now, if you hand do all the work yourself, it, it will be worth more money than, than uh, an average Bayliner in the same condition, but you're still not gonna get your monies back. So whether it's worth it or not is, do you want to put the time in, do you want to put the money in, and do you want to put the money in knowing you'll never get your money back? If the answers are yes, then go ahead and go with the restoration on this. 